Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Kudlerik, the host of this video series on Navnet 3D. One of the great things about Navnet 3D is how easily you can customize the display to be the display that you want it to be, how you want it to look, and how you want things to be displayed on the screen. This video is going to cover how to change those presets that come from the factory. We're going to talk about the roto key and the menuing system, how you can change and modify those to be the what you want to see when you want to see them. We'll also talk about the font sizes and the viewing angle of the screen. So let's get started. I'm going to pass this over to Matt Wood. Thanks, Jeff. One of the great advantages of the design of Navnet 3D is that the common features and functions that we want to use all the time are available from the keyboard. We don't actually have to delve into menus to access those features and functions that are the most meaningful for us. The user interface that we have with the roto key is very powerful as it is. But as we become more comfortable with Navnet 3D, we can look at some of these menu features to be able to customize that user interface to make things jump right at our fingertips. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the most common changes that we can make to make the roto key and the user interface as good as possible for the individual user. One of the things that's important to understand as we start accessing menus is how we're going to control those menus once we're in them. Another of the advantages of the Navnet 3D design is how flexible the user interface is when we're accessing a particular menu feature. So we'll start to show you that now. When I push the menu button, I'll have a contextually sensitive menu that comes up that is related to the, what was on the screen when I accessed the menu. In this case, I was showing a platter screen. So as I jump into my menu now, we see that I have platter on the right side, and I have my menu, ship and track, on the left side. In order to access a particular menu, I can use either the scroll key, the roto key, or I can use an external pointy device like a USB mouse to be able to access in and out of those menus. What we're going to show you first is the My Navnet menu. This is what will be visited probably the most often as you become comfortable with Navnet 3D and the operating system. In this case, I'm going to use the roto key and I'll access, I'll turn the roto key to the right and come down into the My Navnet menu. The first menu item that we'll deal with is the My Navnet Reminder. When you first power up the Navnet 3D, you'll have a small data window that opens up that prompts you to look at the My Navnet menu. What the My Navnet menu is intended to do is to prompt you to look at the user interface and customize those features and functions that are most meaningful to you. The default for the My Navnet Reminder is on, so every tenth time the unit is powered up, you'll see the My Navnet Reminder come on. On screen, you'll see that it is the top item in the My Navnet menu, and it's highlighted in green. And that means that this feature is on. This feature can also be turned off. So as the user becomes more comfortable with the My Navnet menu, roto key interface, and the user interface, then they generally can turn the My Navnet reminder off and revisit it as they need to. Now we'll address customizing the roto key. One of the great features here also is that we can minimize or maximize the menu items that we have available to us on the roto key on screen. So as I access the Navnet menu, I'll enter the menu, I'll enter again, and come down to my roto key. In this case, the roto key is selected as standard. So that is a very good average setting for most users. You can see that we have four selections we have basic, standard, full, and custom roto keys. The basic roto key is intended for the basic user with a minimum number of selections on the roto key. The standard, which is the factory default, has an average or medium number of menu items that are available in the roto key. The full roto key offers every menu selection that is available at the roto key level. And then custom, if we select the custom roto key, we actually choose 
each of the menu items that become available to us as we use the roto key. This would be for an advanced user. Now let's address how to create a complete custom user interface in the roto key. I'll access my roto key menu and I'll select the custom setting. Now I'll back up to my tabs in the top margin and I'll go to each tab in succession. Here we have chart, radar, fish finder, instruments, and video selections. So in each of these tabs up top, I can create a completely customized interface for my roto key, selecting and deselecting each of the menu items that I want to see as I use the roto key on screen. Now, it's always important to bear in mind that when I'm in an operating screen, I can simply push and hold the roto key and access full roto key control at any time. So we'll give an example of how to customize that custom roto key interface. In this case, we'll review the chart tab. I've accessed the chart tab and I'll select enter and we can see that each of the selections is highlighted in blue video. Any of the selections that are on are highlighted in green. If there are particular menu items that I want to deselect or turn off from the roto key menu, it's as simple as selecting that item and pressing the enter key, which is the roto key. In this case, as an example, if I have no desire to operate in the underwater view, then I will select underwater and simply push the roto key. You can see that that green button turns to gray, so it's deselected or off, and that menu item will no longer appear in the roto key unless I push and hold the roto key to access the full roto key function. 